I've always kind of been interested in bacteria. High school senior Kriti Lal turned that passion for bacteria into a potentially award-winning Intel Science Fair project. I made a novel water treatment system to inexpensively remove arsenic from water. This novel system uses a bacteria that I genetically engineered, and it also uses a bioreactor that I designed and built. Her system cost around $8 to build from basic supplies. She hopes to help the 137 million people affected by arsenic-polluted water. The main component is the bacteria in the jar, which does the real magic, which is converting um, the arsenite to the arsenate. She's one of 40 finalists from the nearly 2,000 competitors in Intel Science Talent Search this year. Finalist projects range from cybersecurity to detecting parasites in blood samples, a project created by 18-year-old Tane Tandon. Take the slide, put it underneath the smartphone and the lens attachment, you know, take a picture on the camera, uh, send it to the server, the server analyzes it, and within a couple of seconds you get an output um, with sort of a preliminary blood report. Tandon says the report can detect blood disorders like sickle cell anemia and the presence of parasites, indicating a tropical disease like malaria or Chagas. The tricky part was teaching the computer to make a diagnosis. We trained the machine learning algorithms in order to um, identify the different types of parasites. Which he did by by showing it images of parasites and blood cells. Whether Tandon and Law win a top prize or not, both students hope their projects will end up saving lives. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Siboy, CNET.com for CBS News.